With just four days until the Commonwealth Games in Scotland, it's said there are two certainties. There will be bagpipes and kilts at the opening ceremony and Australia will win hockey gold. Tonight, we meet three hockey roos determined to return home with the ultimate prize. Since 1998, when the sport was introduced at Commonwealth level, only once have the Hockey Roos failed to stand atop the podium. They expect nothing less in Scotland. We want to win gold. We're going there, the highest ranked team. So coming out, if we don't win gold medal, we're going to be really disappointed in ourselves. Remarkably, Georgie Parker and Curry McMahon are both from the Riverland town of Berry. I love it up there. I go home whenever I can. But, um, you know, the community gets right behind you and I have a lot of support from the region and um, absolutely love it. We've got this big dream and to achieve it's something that is pretty phenomenal. Also making her Commonwealth debut, Adelaide-born Jane Claxton, the trio living, training and breathing hockey at the AIS in Perth. Every training we're going out in the field, making sure that we're really picking up our running, our skills and making sure we can perform everything at a high level. Making one giant leap onto the track and field team, Adelaide long jumper Margaret Gayen. I don't really believe it half the time. Her jump of 6.62 metres and subsequent selection may have shocked Margaret, but not her coach, who also happens to be her mum. My best is a lot better than hers now. Significantly better by more than a metre. <laughs> While their mother-daughter relationship comes first, it isn't always completely on track. It does get a bit troublesome sometimes because she's my mum and, you know, that brings a whole different level into your relationship. Everything is questioned, so everything I say to her, she questions back. But they're doing something right. The 20-year-old has also won selection in our 4 by 100 metres relay team alongside Sally Pearson. Margaret's story is the ultimate tale of persistence. Nine years ago, she couldn't make her little athletics club's relay team. Today, she's about to run on the world stage. The attitude of doing your own best and sticking at it is, uh, is what's paid off for Margaret. Vicky Schwartz, Nine News.